The Dick Van Dyke Show. Starring Dick Van Dyke. Rosemary, Maury Amsterdam, Larry Matthews, and Mary Tyler Moore. Hey, hey, I got one. I got one. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready, but is the world ready? Who needs them? <laughs> All right, listen to this. What happens to ducks that fly upside down? They quack up. <laughs> I knew you didn't know it. Yeah. Rob, Alan's not going to use junk like that on the show. Why not? He's using junk like you on the show. <laughs> No, you're going to be able to help us out on this? Well, I don't know. What's this request I got for prisoner costumes? We're not doing a prison sketch on the show this week. Oh, it's not for the Alan Brady show. It's for our show. Your show? Yeah, you see, we've been invited to do a benefit, and we're trying to put a few things together. Do you think we can get the costumes, Mel? Well, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Alan does a lot of charity work. Oh, that's how you got your job. <laughs> oh! What you did? What? You've made Mel punch my papers. So? So now I got two dozen carbon copies of Mel's fist. <laughs> Mel, can you help us out, do you think? You, well, well, I, I don't know. I'll do my best. Uh, why prison costumes? Well, we kind of thought it would be appropriate since we're doing a show in prison. You're doing a show in prison? Yeah, how about that? Hundreds of men and not one of them can get away. <laughs> hey, Mel, while we're up there, maybe we can get your hair out of solitary. <laughs> Rob, it's true, Mel. The entertainment director of Granville State Prison asked us to come up there and do a show for the men. Well, I think it's nice that you're doing it for them. Uh, can I go along? Why well, give with one hand and take with the other? <laughs> Rob, are you sure you you want to use prison costumes in a in a prison in a prison <laughs> sketch? I mean, isn't that a little indelicate? No, Lyle says they love prison humor. Who's who's Lyle? Well, Lyle Delp, he's the entertainment director up there. He's an old friend of mine. Oh, the social director. No, the social outcast. <laughs> you mean he's a convict? Boy, if he ain't, he got the worst taste in clothes I ever saw. <laughs> you mean you actually know someone who's in prison? Yeah, he's quite an old friend of mine. Well, how did you ever get to meet him? I mean, was he an old school chum that went wrong? Oh, no, just somebody that Laura and I met years ago. Hey, Rob, you mean to say you never told Mel that story? Oh, Mel, it's a very funny story. Don't tell it to him. If it's funny, he'll never understand it. <laughs> well, Rob, how did you meet this individual? Well, as a matter of fact, when we first met the guy, he was a hold-up man. Uh, how did you know he was a hold-up man? He held us up. <laughs> You actually became friends with a man who held you up? Yeah, we've been writing to him in prison for years. Yeah, he's sort of a pen pal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, listen, Mel, kidding aside, we got this letter from him a few days ago. And he's real cute. He really is. And you see that number? And that's not a zip code. That's him. <laughs> and it's a wonderful story, Mel, if you've got some time. Well, I've got plenty of time. My desk is clear. Close your head. <laughs> Oh, come on, tell him the story of how you met Lyle Dell. Well, it all started about, oh, a month before Richie was born. It was that long ago. And uh, I was so afraid that Laura was going to have the baby early that every time she had a pain, I went straight through the ceiling. I finally went so far as to take her downtown to the doctor's office. It was late in the afternoon and pouring rain. Just a second, silly, coming all the way down here in the rain and at this hour. Honey, it's not silly. The book said when the pain's got regular, you gotta go see the doctor. Yeah, but I don't feel ready. I think it's just something I ate. It's not something you ate? How do you know? Because something you ate wouldn't give you regular pains. The last one was about 15 minutes ago. The other one should be due any minute. Us! There it is. They're getting closer. And that was my arm, dear. You just hit it with the umbrella. Oh, God, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. But you know something that shouldn't have hurt that much? Have you been drinking your milk? No. Yeah, it's probably a calcium deficiency in there. Something else we're going to talk to the doctor about. It. Rob, did you bring my bag of nuts? Yeah, they're in your purse. That's something else I've got to mention to him. You've become a salted nut addict. <laughs> An addict? I just have a craving for them, that's all. Honey, cravings are supposed to stop after the first three months. Oh, Rob, I just hate to go all the way up there and bother the doctor. Bother? Honey, he expects it. <laughs> this, my wife, we're expecting a baby. Oh. <laughs> No, I'll get it, honey, the darn things. <laughs> oh, there, I got it. Oh, good. Got hit. Oh, shoot. Excuse me. Rob? Oh, honey! Hey, honey! Don't panic! No, honey, you wait, I'll wait, you got... My wife's on the elevator. Fine. 
Well, it's where the stairs. I've got... uh, why don't you wait till it comes back down? Oh, that's a good idea. She's... <laughs> We're expecting a baby. I'm a little nervous. Yeah. <laughs> She's got a little calcium deficiency in her arm there. So. <laughs> wow. I'm uh, sorry I made you miss the elevator. All right. That's okay. <laughs> Oh, oh go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, honey, you all right? Fine. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Honey, why did you go up like that? Why didn't you get on? Well, this darn thing, I wouldn't close. You want to press button, Don? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, it's uh, number five, isn't it? Yeah. Pull on your stomach, honey. Oh, you stop. <laughs> you <feel> fine. <sighs> Why doesn't the door open? This is five, isn't it? No, four and a half. <laughs> Did you press the emergency button by mistake? No mistake. Oh, what's, what's the matter, fella? Nothing's the matter. This is just a simple little stick-up. Huh? You, you mean a, a hold-up? Hey, you're kidding. Does this look like I'm kidding? No, look, you are. Hey, not... hey, hey, get back, 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 back. Listen, don't hurt her. Uh, don't get dramatic. Nobody's going to get hurt. Oh, Rob, I told you we shouldn't have come. Honey, don't be afraid. I know his kind. What do you mean, my kind? What kind of crack is that? Well, I, I didn't mean like it didn't like it. I just meant that uh, it's uh, no, no, pretty rotten to, to hold up an expectant mother. Hey, look, Dr. Spock, you aren't my first choice, you know. <laughs> Young couples like you aren't exactly the type that have money, you know what I mean? Remember the first couple that went up? They're over 50. That's where the money is. Well, why did you stick them up there? Because your umbrella kept me out, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, in my business, you just can't stand around waiting for customers. Now, come on, come on, come on, give me a wallet. Rob, do what he says. All right. Come on, hurry it up, hurry it up. Come on. Gonna get away with this. Uh, sure, get away with it. Ah, what's to get away with? What is this? <laughs> Eleven bucks. Well, that's all there is, and some change. Hey. Come on, lady. Give me yours. No, look, leave her alone. She hasn't got any money. Yeah, sure she hasn't. Come on, hurry it up. No, I'm come telling on. she doesn't get her allowance till tomorrow. Yeah, what do I care about tomorrow? Stand back. Stand back. Okay. <laughs> Let me see what you got here. Hey, not bad. Look at this. Forty bucks. What, what $40 is that? It's Millie. She asked me to get Jerry's birthday present for her. Boy, that isn't fair. I mean, Millie isn't even here. <laughs> <laughs> Millie's lucky. She spared all this terror. Right, Rob? <laughs> Call me Rob like we're old friends or something. Okay, okay. Any way you want it, Rob. Now, come on. Come on. Hand over your watches and rings. Step it up. Come on, come on, come on. Boy, you haven't got a chance. People know this elevator stopped. Well, I got all the time I need. The average person pushes an elevator button six or seven minutes before realizing it's not working. I made a study of this thing, you know. You mean you've held up people in elevators before? No, I held them up in front of a police station, dum-dum. <laughs> now, give me your rings. Oh, but these are our wedding rings. Come on, give me your ring. Hey, 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 hey watch it, watch it. Watch it. <laughs> Honey, I'll get you another one, I promise. I can't get it off. Oh, and it's stuck on there. Her fingers are a little swollen. My luck, I got to stick up a fat lady. Look, you probably don't believe me, but I really can't get it off. I believe you, I believe you. My mother had eight kids. Tell her to lay off the salt. Her feet are a little bit swollen, too. I don't want her shoes. Oh, give me yours. Hurry up. Come on, come on. Shoes? No, your ring, your ring. I'll remember you. Hmm. Wonderful. That's a big thrill for me. Look, I'm going to... Hey, 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 don't get frisky, you nice guy. Don't get frisky, buddy. Hey, is this real gold? To one love. Hey, that's beautiful. We think it's beautiful. I think so, too. You don't think I spend all my time in an elevator. I lead a little life, too, you know. Oh, I'll bet you do. Yeah, I had a girl once, you know. Made me an ID bracelet while she was in prison. You know what it said? I wish you were here. <laughs> ah, smart guy. Smart guy. Oh, boy. Oh, watch that, watch that, lady. There was another one. Another one, honey? Look, you. Okay, okay, don't get excited. I'll get you out of here. Now, listen, lady. I'll press the button, we'll go right to the roof, you hear? And then we'll come right back down. And just hold on. Nothing happened. We're not moving. The elevator's stuck. Stuck? Hey, we can't be stuck. 
I got to get out of here. <laughs> hey! Hey, we're stuck! Oh! Hey, we're stuck down here! Go ahead, go ahead. You're stuck in an elevator and with a hold-up man and Laura's about to give birth. What happened? Nothing happened. They're still stuck. The kid was born in the elevator and they named him Otis. <laughs> Oh, my gosh, it's 3 o'clock. I promised to check a sketch in the rehearsal hall. No, wait a minute. Don't leave me hanging. That's the best way to leave him. <laughs> Buddy! Thank you. Welcome. Go ahead, Rob. Finish the story. Well, anyway, there we were, banging and yelling away. The elevator's in town. I gotta get a loser. <laughs> Honey, you feel all right? Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, I'll push the emergency button again. What do you think I'm doing? Plugging a dike? <laughs> Hey, wait. Sit down. It's hey. no good for you to be standing. We don't need any advice from you. You got us into this mess, and if anything happens hey, to her... Hey, is it my fault? My fault the elevator broke down? I don't want to harm you. I just want to rob you. Well, you did, so we don't need any of your ideas. Honey, you, you should sit down. I'd love to. My feet are killing me. Well, sit, sit on... Uh... What happened to elevators that have those stools that fall down and people that run them? Whatever happened to elevators that go up and down? <laughs> Honey, look, sit on my coat. Thank you, dear. We'll be out of here in no time. Oh, I feel just like an old cow. <laughs> Honey, you look beautiful. Oh, Capacity, 2,000 pounds. Inspected, 1954, Sidney Burns. 1955, Sidney Burns. 1956, Sidney Burns. 1957, Wendell Henderson. <laughs> they should have stuck with Sidney. <laughs> you see that thing? Yeah, just as I thought, in an emergency, call MU88599. Mm. And where am I going to call? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to call them when I get home. Yeah, 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 give them a zing for me, too. Hey, hey, lady. You don't look very comfortable, lady. Take my coat. Uh, no, thank you. I don't need it. Here. Go ahead and take it, honey. No, I really don't need yes, it. Yes, you do need it. The softer, the better, honey. Yeah. Here, now, I'll just put it behind you. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? I'm clever. I knew it was your comb. You held me up with a comb. <laughs> That's why you wanted my coat. You wanted my comb. And I was concerned about her. Oh, Rob. Do you mean that you held us up at comb point? Of course, I never carry a gun. You get in trouble. Borrowed one from my brother once and I almost killed myself. Well, I get my big plan and I get a comb. Look at this human nature. He's upset because I didn't use a gun. You don't even need a comb. You sure know how to hurt a guy, Rob. <laughs> You know something? There's a lot of things you do that upset me, and now that I know you're not armed, I'm going to turn you in when we get downstairs. Rob, look up there. What? Is it a trick? Rob, I told you. Oh. In the Listen. ceiling, a trap door. Yeah, yeah, a trap door. Of course a trap door. Boost me up there. Hey, wait a minute. You stay here with the wife. I'll go. Oh, no, you don't. You go up there, we'll never see you again. <laughs> boy, oh, boy. Do you think I'd leave an expectant mother stuck here? What do you think I am? You know what you are. Oh, yeah, I know what you're going to say. Sure, I'm a crook. Does that make me inhuman? I have feelings, too. Just because I lift a few bucks from somebody doesn't mean I'm going to leave a fat lady stuck here, does it? <laughs> There's a difference, you know. All right, I guess there is. All right, okay, then. Lay off. <laughs> Keep driving me crazy. <laughs> hey, you go climb up. But you just said. I know, I know what I just said. Go ahead up. You be the hero. All right, honey. I'll be right back. You feel all right? Yeah, yeah Rob, just fine, but I wish you wouldn't go up here. Well, to honey, what could happen in an elevator shaft? Well, I'll be careful. Jolly, maybe Mr. 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 What did you say your name was? Delp. Lyle Delp. Lyle Delp? Yeah. Lyle Francis Delp. You want to make something out of it? <laughs> Darling, maybe Mr. Delk should go up. No, honey, I'll be careful. All right. Come on, wait a minute. I gotta get the trap door out of the way. Okay, come on. Okay. Okay. All right, on three. Okay. One, two, three. Oh. I made it. Uh. 
Yeah. There it is. A stuck elevator. <laughs> Uh, Rob, are you all right? Another honey, I just kicked a beer can. Hmm, look at this bullet that he gave us. Can you reach the door? Uh, I, not quite, I don't think. Oh. <laughs> can you see anything? Let's see. Uh, Fred loves Vivian. <laughs> or something. In 1936, John Farini laid these bricks. I want to wish you lots of luck, because if you're reading this, you're stuck. A funny trick. <laughs> oh, a riot. Anything else up there? Uh, Fred is a... F what? Nothing, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear something. Danger, high voltage. <laughs> me. Oh. Hey, listen, throw me up the uh, umbrella. Why, is it raining up there? <laughs> Thanks. Anybody got any chewing gum? Yeah, yeah, gum. Here, here, coming up! Thanks. <laughs> what do you need the gum for? A chew, eh? <laughs> Hello? What is it? That skylight in the roof is wide open. Well, how far up is it? About 40 floors. <laughs> oh, don't, Rob, don't. I'm not going to, honey. Can you climb down? Let's see. Not alive. <laughs> I think I can climb up to this fifth floor door and maybe get it open. Don't hurt yourself. But get us out of here. Boy, at least it's slippery and greasy. <laughs> what was that? Nothing, just some stuff dropped out of my pocket. Hey. Hey, I, I can't see him anymore. <laughs> Not nothing, honey. I just lost the car keys. What do you need car keys? We're in an elevator. I have an extra set, darling. She has an extra set, darling. <laughs> well, here they are. I found them. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, you found it. Rob, be careful. I will. Listen, I want to try to uh, pry open that fifth floor door with the umbrella. If I can't. <clears throat> oh, <God. laughs> There's no way out up there at all. Look, somebody's bound to discover us. The best thing to do is just wait. Yeah. Might as well sit around here. It's better than sitting in jail. Oh, well, Mr. Delp, you're not sure what's going to happen to you. Oh, it's jail. It's jail. This isn't my first rap. Hey! Anybody down there? Yeah! Yeah, yeah we're here! We're down here! Are you all right? Yeah, I guess so. We think the generator went out or something. Just sit tight. The repairman is on the way. Well, listen, hurry it up. We've got an expectant mother down here. Okay, we'll call the police emergency squad. The fire emergency squad! <laughs> for everybody else, they call the fire department. For me, they call the cops. I'm a loser. <laughs> Boy, these nuts make me thirsty. Won't be long now, folks. The generator is working. 
but some jerk threw an umbrella down the shaft and shorted the main switch. <laughs> Hang on! How you feel, honey? I'm all right, just a little tired. When was the last time you felt anything? Oh, they stopped a long time ago. Gee, must be, uh... Or you still have our watches. Oh. Yeah. I... <laughs> Where I'm going, I, I won't need them. <laughs> Thanks, Lyle. Hey, Lyle. I hate to mention it, but... Oh! Yeah. Uh, Fifty-one bucks. Uh, count it. I don't have to count it. More nuts? Yeah, I'm dying. So hungry. How about you, Lyle? You got any Brazilian ones? They're not as salty, you know. <laughs> I think the only thing we have left are the peanuts. Story of my life, the leftovers. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, leftover food, leftover clothing, leftover dreams. Didn't I hear that on Dragnet last night? <laughs> yeah, I identified with him. <laughs> you identified with him? Yeah. We're both social misfits. I couldn't get a wife, couldn't get a job. Haven't you ever had a steady job? Never. Well, I don't think there's anything to brag about, Lyle. Who's bragging? What's to brag about? Those doors slide open, I walk into the arms of a cop. You know, I once saw a movie where the crook got away by switching jackets with another man and then ducking down low. Laura! Uh, that's, that's, all right. that's all right, Laura. Thanks anyway. Oh, Rob, do we have to turn him in? I don't know, honey. Hey, we're moving. Uh, well, Lyle, it isn't that we want to turn you in. You don't have to turn me in. What do you mean? I'm going to save you the trouble. Why will you do that? That's right. Because you're nice people and I like you. I hear that, honey. Lyle, you know what you're about to do is the first step on that long road back. To a better life. I know, I know. That's why I'm going to do it. Every man has to do something for himself if he's ever to be free. Good luck to you, Lyle. I'll need it. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. <laughs> some things for himself if he's ever to be free. That's beautiful. Isn't it? And then when the elevator stopped, he turned himself in. No, he ran like a thief. <laughs> Good cat escape. You mean, you mean he didn't turn himself in? No, he tried to turn us in. He told them that we tried to hold him up. <laughs> he ran in the confusion. Yeah, you see, and he'd have made it too if he hadn't stopped to get a drink of water. <laughs> the police looked at Laura, decided she wasn't shaped like a holdup man. They caught him on down the hall. We had to identify him. And he doesn't hold a grudge. No. Even though he's been in for eight years? Well, look, Mel, during that time, he's been in and out and in and out, you know. You got the only cell with a swinging door. <laughs> <laughs> he's working in the library in the prison now. He's a trustee. What do you say, Mel? Is the story worth a few costumes? I'll give you anything you need. We must do more to help our men behind bars. Yeah, let's put him in front of the bar and give him some booze. <laughs> well, I appreciate all the help, Mel. We would like to give him a good show. The sociologists tell us that Anybody is potentially capable of committing a crime. Any one of us. Well, I don't think you ever have to worry about being a Lyle Delp. Well, why not? Well, for one thing, you haven't got a comb. <laughs> <laughs> Next week, by popular request, the whole cast is going to prison. Join us, won't you?